Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace, and I have got another Smite live commentary here for you. And first things first, I do see that Yolop is going to go jungle, which is the first time that I see a potential jungler. I believe recently there was a patch for a new jungle item. I'm not sure if I actually have seen it, but we'll see whatever happens. But we have a magical caster. Poseidon, pretty beastly. We have Neath, physical carry. We have Loki, uh, physical assassin. So we do need a tank and a bruiser. Now, I can't really justify Thor uh, if I look, of course, the uh, side of YouTube because I don't want to make the same god happen every single time. So I might look at something else. Of course, I would have gone Thor if I wasn't recording. Don't get me wrong. So let me see what I might want to do here. Just looking around. Yeah, I wish I knew what the enemy team had. Can I actually rent a god? I can. Use favor. Vulcan rental. Lock in. There you go. I rented my first god as well. It's going to be Vulcan. Because Vulcan can be very, 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 very annoying. Have I already told you guys that... Vulcan can be very annoying. So we'll see whatever happens. Alright, so. Our team. Fenrir, Poseidon, Loki, Vulcan, Neath. Little bit heavy on the physical side. But at least we can have somewhat of a tank bruiser. Uh, which is of course, well we have a bruiser, Fenrir. Unless he builds uh, like a physical uh, carry or assassin. Both work very well on him. Vulcan, I'm going to play a little bit more tankier. And just a very annoying uh, person. And of course we are fighting against physical, 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 physical. So three physical, one magical. So I definitely want to get that uh, physical protection up whenever I can. Alright, let's pick that up. I'll go for the boots first. And considering we also have a very high physical damage team, I might want to pick up perhaps Void Blade? Go for that Bruiser type build? Who knows though, because all my damage I believe is magical based, so is it really the good thing to do? It would work, technically speaking, but is it really happening? Alright, I of course have to uh, help with the uh, the gold right there. Let's see what we got. Backfire, Inferno, Cannon, and Thumper. Ooh, very interesting choices indeed. I'm not sure, I've never played Vulcan in a real match, of course I've played him in Arena every now and then. But it's just, yeah, put your things down, activate your ultimate, and you win practically the game. So we'll see whatever happens. Not sure what we're going to do here, though. We do have a turret, which kind of means I probably should uh, pick the Infernal Cannon up, I guess. I guess that's kind of a dead giveaway. So here we go. I was going to take it anyway, because that seems like the most logical thing to do. Still not sure. Are we really going to rush Gold Fury? Is this gonna happen? Oh god, it's gonna happen, isn't it? Have Here we go, guys. Waiting for my cannon. Ah, yeah, gold fury out of red. Yeah, that was lovely. Neef being destroyed by gold fury right there. There you go. Nobody allows me to tank it. There we go. Finally, I'm able to tank it. And there's the Gold Fury. That was really interesting, to say the least. We have, of course, the early Gold Fury. Cupid coming in there. Probably going to take out Fenrir right there. Oh, I didn't move in time. Fenrir, don't get uh, too cocky. But it does allow me to get perhaps an Aegis. Another health pot and a mana pot. Let's wait two seconds. I get another mana pot there as well. And it looks like I have to force myself to go left, perhaps with Neath, against the Loki and a Fenrir. Now, this could actually be quite nice, because once again, I am contemplating to get that Void Blade. I know it's not that bad, uh, it's not that perfect for, of course, uh, Vulcan, because he's magical damage based. But still, it's too good to give up at this stage. I don't know, I just have to take a look at what the items are. Maybe I just pick up that other item that procs defense, uh, physical defense when you get attacked. Then it might actually be better because it actually gives me magical powers as well. Huh, never bought that item before though because I usually buy it on casters. Then again, Vulcan is technically speaking sort of a caster based on the skill set of course. Alright, let's pick up my Thumper. 
Let's do the trick. Let's just put a, a thumper down there. Just to zone Loki out for days, as you can see. Forced completely back. If I had mana regen, I could just put down everything for days. Let's put one as well, because one, I believe, it has a nice knockback. The strength of the blast knocks Vulcan back 20 feet. Does it do anything specifically to all damage in path? All right. Let's see how that works. There you go. All right. It's just basically a get out of jail free card, sort of, if you are in a bit of a pickle. So, yeah. Let's see what I can do here. Alright, just see if I can go behind. Let's just put a cannon right up here. Just to annoy with them. Don't have much of an escape then head. Which might be quite nice. There we go. They can't escape into the jungle. Let's put a level 2 cannon. Let's put my mana pot. Avoid the damage from Loki. There we go. Just gonna see what we can do over here. Alright, there we go. My cannon is being attacked. Okay, it does get targeted by, of course, the tower. Kind of makes sense. Right. We can go. They are pretty much zoned out. If I can just zone them completely, that would be wonderful. There we go. Let's do some AoE damage. That's, that's kind of the thing that I try to do with Vulcan. Try to zone them. Of course, we can't really zone, considering the fact that we are at their tower. We are zoning as much as we can. They can't really get close to our our, uh, our minions right there as well. Due to the fact that my Thumper is just doing a bossly job at zoning them. We have a first kill right there on Fenrir. Very nice. Fenrir Glass Cannon build. GG, Nori. Looking good so far. So let's, let me go back in. I'm, of course, supposed to be the tank. So here we go, let's see what we can do. Let's just build it right here. Let's see what we can do because of it. Let's build a thumper as well. Let's pick up the ultimate. There we go, let's tank the minion so my turret stays alive. Right. Your middle tower is under attack. Didn't stay alive all that long, but of course my Vulcanic Overdrive Gains movement speed, protection for a short time, structures fire faster and gain massive regen. Also, the Inferno can also have thighs in the 360 radius. So, a lot of nice buffs right there. We're just doing damage to the tower, they're completely getting zoned. I just might, I might want to put a thumper down here anyway. Because then we would have something to go with. Alright, let's just try and get them. Oh, that's just a nice combination right there. That was wonderful by Neath. At least by Fenrir picking up, pulling him into the tower range. That was wonderful. Yeah, she probably just jumped. I couldn't have done anything because I don't have a stun. I, I don't have a knockback. I don't have anything. And I, I kind of put in my uh, thumper because it also slows. Your thumper does slow, I believe. Yeah, it slows enemy every second. Which is course exactly one of the things that we want to do. Right, let's just blow them up. There you go. Also, this makes it very hard for us to get the gank. Because if they do get to us, they are getting slowed. Which allows us to possibly get out. Right. Enemy missing right. So mid enemy is still there. Ra is still over there. So that should be all fine. Alright, let's just uh, pop a pot. As I'm taking all the minion damage. Here we go. Loki goes down, Cupid goes down as well. It seems like an even trade. An ally has been slain. As I do want to possibly put up my Thumper again. I think that's a good plan. There we go. Just to prevent uh, getting ganked. Oh god, there's uh, Loki going in. But he's directly getting slow, so he can't fall off. Neat also jumps back wonderfully. Here we go. Trying to tank the damage instead of my turret taking it. But of course he goes down. Let's put up another cannon. Just casually taking the damage. Don't see Rod though. We might be seeing a gank soon. A little bit worried to be honest. Let's have Raz down. Doesn't look like it. Enemy missing middle. And of course Neath gets pulled in once again. Does jump away. So I'm going to see if I can help her through the jungle. But Loki has a stun on her. Doesn't look like she's going to make it. Can she go? Oh, that's oh there we go. There's the thumper. 
Thumper saves games, guys. They are giving chase. They are certainly giving chase, but of course you can jump again. And I'm quite happy to fight with you guys. Neve just keeps jumping. I already took Fenra out of the equation. I Thumper basically slowed enough. Loki, desperate attempt right there to make it happen. Probably should help go in right here. Let's put down a Thumper once again. Slowing down Loki. One more attack. Ah, I don't have my enough mana for my one. Please, please, one. Mana regen. Come on, make it happen, regen. Make it happen. Of course, my cannon is not here anymore. Ah, oh, that was would have been a wonderful kill. Raz here as well, so I probably should just back off. I'm getting slowed right here. Probably take some damage. Let's pop my pot, just to be sure. As I will take some damage from the minions as well. And this technically should allow me to get out of jail free. And as I was planning to go back anyway, this should allow me to go back right now. So, got so close to a nice kill. Fortunately, didn't really work out for me. So, I'm going to pick up another boots. Of course, two health pots, two mana pots. Seems like a good thing to do. And I'm also quickly going to check out magical items, magical power. Like the Wolf Absolution might be, uh, might be quite nice if you think about it. Retreat right lane. And of course the other usual stuff as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the Wall of Absolution because it does give me physical protection and magical power and MP5. So I'm just going to grab one of them already. Of course it's better to just upgrade uh, an item to level 3. But I kind of figured if I just have that little bit of magical power, physical protection... In addition to, of course, the MP5. Just a little bit. It might give me an early edge. Because I think the next time that I go back, I probably have enough money anyway. And considering I could not buy reinforced boots level 3. Why not buy just a level 1 item? Because chances of me going back. Alright, let's just get Fender out of the equation. Alright, let's see what we can do here. If I can just get my Thumper. Four seconds, three seconds. Can we get a snare? Uh, he blinked. He blinked. Yeah, he's he's gone. No, he's not. Can we get a snare? Wonderful. Ah, uh, Neve, please. Oh, Neve, wonderfully done, lady, man, girl, woman, man, boy, whoever you are, whatever you are. You did it splendid right there. So I'm going to pick up a thunder. Uh, a thunder. A thunder thumper. No, just a thumper. And then I will allow myself to just casually do some damage. Back off a little bit. And just... I'm not going to put down my thumper and cannon just yet. Seems like a bit of a waste. They're already up anyway, but the looks of it... There they are. So just going to wait. And see what I can do to farm up this wave. There we go. See, I almost have enough money already to buy my level 3 boots anyway. So, uh, let's put down these. And let's put down one of these. And let's have a good day. Alright, level 9. I have a level advantage on Loki. Uh, is that what you want? Because I have an ultimate, which I can totally find use with me. There we go. Let's use my Aegis right here. Let's use my knockback. Let's take around into the thumper. There you go. I do die. But I believe I killed Ra. Did I kill Ra? I killed Ra. That was wonderful. That was a three against one. And I won. Depending on how you look at it. Right? If you if you look at it, I technically won. Because I got a kill. They also got a kill. But I was a three against one. Unfortunately, Odin and Loki jumping in there as well. That was a kind of unfortunate. Of course, I have enough money uh, for level 3 boots, as I predicted. There you go. Let's pick up some more pots and let's go back in and save that left lane. That's my only goal right now. I can basically, because of my turrets and such, I can hold the left lane on my own. Neve can go roam, but Neve is getting destroyed. Luckily, uh, luckily enough for us, our Fenrir is uh, getting slightly fed, I hope. It's 7 against 7. With them having the favor for assist. Which is not all that great. There you go. Let's just do some damage. Let's see if I can actually get in there. Cupid is coming in from the sideline. 
or is now he's in the mid already. Let's just see what I can do here. Let's just say hello to them. Couldn't hurt, I presume. Let's put a thumper right here. Let's put a cannon right here. And let's have a good day. Right, backing off. I am level up right here. Max level cannon. Right, right tower is being destroyed. I'm just gonna hold Cupid at bay then. We're just doing this. Cupid, no. Not sure what Cupid's idea right there is, but... Uh... Alright, Fenrir saying hello. Oh, that damage of Fenrir, man. It even hurts me quite quite efficiently. But there you go. Let's put a, a mana pot as well right here. As the tower is down. Left lane is fine. Mid tower is down. Our left lane tower is still full health. So our lane is doing just fine. Right, let's see what the jungle is like. There is Fenrir. Hello, dude. How have you been? Let me just have a visual on you. He's probably gonna try and get... He's gonna jump for it. Yeah, he's probably gonna look for a jump right there. Unless he wants to go out. Now he just tried to juke me. Not sure what he's planning though. But yeah, whatever the case may be, we should be good. Ah, there we go. Let's put a cannon right here. That's the weird... That's a very weird location. Let's put another mana pot down. Let's put a thumper down, just to be sure. But if we could gank, we have a possible way to get out. And let's put a cannon like this, so it zones the entire lane. And that should be alright. Just be careful, Neath. If you get grabbed by their ultimate or stunned by Loki, you're pretty much done for. There we go, let's just do that. But that's one of the problems with having uh, your stuff close together. AoE abilities will hurt them. Alright, we might be looking. There we go, there it is. Let's put my ultimate up in here. Right, cannon, let's go, let's have a go, let's have a party. A turret party. Let's put in my third here as well. Let's pop both potions to sustain for days. I do see Cupid coming at me. And there's Odin as well. Just gonna turn around and just knock myself back. As my team says hello to me as well now. Right. Looking good. Let's pop my last health potion. Let's put a thumper right here. Nah, it did slow him just a little bit, but just not enough. Right. Put in my cannon right here. And we should have a good time. There we go. I'm just gonna attack it, which just buys me enough time to get the hell out of here. I got a lot of nice money. Your left tower has been destroyed. That was quickie, but Ra is there as well. He's probably gonna be ganked right there if the snare gets landed properly. Right, let's buy some consumables and another active, perhaps. A girdle of might might be nice to get in here. Alright, Ra did drop. But our tower, our left tower, is still under attack. We are currently behind on objective plays. And we are in front of kills. So, technically speaking... Yeah, we are in the lead in the gold. But of course, it's all about the objective. It doesn't matter if the team, the enemy team has 100 game more gold. If they kill your Minotaur first, they kind of win. Alright, let's put a thumper here. Let's put a cannon here. Alright, let's put in the massive stuff. Alright, Odin, come at me, bro. Alright, let's put a Girdle of Might here for our beloved Fenrir. As they will walk, hopefully, into my turrets. Would you look at that? Odin getting slowed right there. Wonderful. Fenrir getting the jump on him. But will it be enough, though? Will it be enough? I don't think it might. Fenrir trying to keep up with them. Jumps another time. Does slowly get close. Does get Odin down. And there's Loki as well. Alright, let's put a Thumper down here. See if I can zone. No, wait. Loki's already too far gone. And that tower is still here as well. Right, let's just get out of here. Let's pop pot. Is Ra gonna follow? No, he's not. Cupid, though. No. Cupid. No, Cupid. Not today, good sir. Not today. Oh, snipe. They're getting hit by it. Let's put a 
uh, a health pot here as well. Accidentally used my um, my mana pot. That was a waste. Welcome to using the wrong key bindings, ladies and gentlemen. Should be good though. Should be good. All right. Venner coming in from the sideline. Oh, glass cannon, ladies and gentlemen. I might want to get out of here. Fenrir can possibly take me down quite effectively. As my turret basically still does, does its job right there. Right. This looks like I'm being chased and possibly jumped on very soon. There we go. Don't have my Aegis yet. Might want to use it soon, though. Let's put a thumper in. Let's gonna use my Aegis. Alright, turret used. Oh, can I use my one? No, I cannot use my one, and both my turrets drop as well. Ah, uh, that was... Uh, I was trying to use my one to get that knockback, but they already pulled me in. And they're stepping up their game. They really have some very good communication almost. Their team really works together, as our team, well, doesn't really just yet. So we'll see what this turns into. Both teams still have a very solid chance of winning. We just need to win team fighting, so we can push forward and uh, equalize the tower difference to say the least that's the plan at least that's that's currently my plan does that sound like a plan i think so probably should buy some consumables that's a good plan don't see anything happening anytime soon might want to pick up another aegis as well just a level two increased damage reduction i believe after the aegis has been used buying me more time all right uh, it looks like odin is going bruiser mode okay yeah, alright. Let's see what we can do. And I definitely might want to pick up uh, this particular item. Height of Nimi and Lion. That would probably be good. Just go full physical tank. Because I, if I can avoid Ra's lasers, then it should be just fine. Technically speaking. Fenrir getting picked off right there. Let's put a thumper down. And a cannon. There we go. Fenrir taking a lot of damage, but he is out. Does get the snipe. Neve doing wonderful work right there. Let's get in here. Before it gets too late, Snipe goes off, Loki is here. But it seems to be all good in the hood. Fenrir going high fido. Let's put a thumper down, cannon down, level 4 as well. 360 pain degrees. Here, can we make it happen? Ra is going down. I pick not, no, Neef picks up the kill, which is exactly what is wonderful. I won't be able to get close to Odin though, unless, unless. Thumper, do try that. Oh, uh, skill shot. Missed! Cannon! Make it work, Cannon! Make it work! Oh, the cannon makes it work! Vulcan, you are growing on me. Oh, Cupid is here. Hello, Cupid. How are you doing? Maybe you just want to get slowed for a second? I need to get out. Oh, I missed a skill shot. Poseidon, make it happen, good sir. Make it happen as I barely walk alive away here. Just pick up the kill nicely. Got three kills, two assists, five... Uh, no, wait. Two deaths, five assists. Alright, I'm back. I'm full. Picking up finally more my wall of absolution. It's time to pick up some health items, I find. Might want to pick up sovereignty, though. Hmm, that would look good. Mystical Mark would look good as well, considering that I don't actually have another AoE damage. And considering they have four physical damage, they want to get close to me, of course. But I feel like I need a little bit more health to begin with. I think Midgardian Mill might actually work out just a tad bit better, just to help out my team. Because if I attack me first, they can't attack as fast than the other teams as well at the same time so i might want to go for mystical mark and those three health items and i'm probably as a last item a magical defense item just to reduce that potential snipe burst damage of ra because you should never underestimate such a thing or just a magi's blessing i think that's also a very good item does reduce one ability right fenrir is pretty much <laughs> dead odin and ra coming in here Let the wall of absolution make it happen. Alright, let's put a thumper right over here. Just to mess with them. My thumper is going down. Should have put him just out of target range of that tower. Right, let's see what we can do here. Alright, putting down a tower. Level 4. 360 degrees tower damage. Can we make it happen? Thumper as well. I know it's within range of the tower. But we are all here. So it should be just be enough. Odin taking a lot of damage, but he is so tanky though. Loki here. Can I get between them? Body block for days. 
All right, he's gone. He's so gone. All right, that was wonderful. Neef did drop, but we got two kills out of that, which is brilliant. God, I hate Loki, Neef says in chat, and I can't disagree with her right there. I'm going to see if I can take this tower down on my own. Might be able to do so. All right, let's go. Let's put down a thumper. Let's choose my one to do a little bit more damage. Ah, looks like uh, it's going to be one for ones now. Can I just get close enough? Yes, I can. I wish the tower actually hit the... Does it hit the tower? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Let's put a thumper down. Let's put a mana pot as I just attack and focus on the tower. And this should help the artist just focus on, of course, the tower. Which means we might be able to take it down. I might be looking at a gank here, though. There we go. Ah, I figured you would do something like that. Gotta love my thumper, Loki. You gotta love my thumper. Or in your case, you must hate my thumper. I have found a way to counter Loki. Play Vulcan, win game. Alright. Come at me, Loki. What you want, bro? What you want? I'm not gonna steal it. Alright. Took one of the towers down. Objective gameplay for the win. Hey, Cupid, how are you doing? Are you having a nice day? I hope you have. Okay, I just used my ultimate just a tad bit wrong. Let's go pop potions. Yeah, nobody had to follow up. That's just a wasted ultimate right there, unfortunately. Also taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna pop... Oh, I'm gonna die here, am I? Probably I'm gonna die here. Nobody had to follow up with me. I'm gonna try and knock back. There's the turret as well. Oh, but Loki saving my height. I had to use every single thing I got in my arsenal. But I got out there, getting saved by our Loki right there. Can't thank him enough. I would have died there, 100%. Gonna pick up a pick up more health item as well as physical protection. And of course, let's pick up a consumable and or two to finish that off. This should help me quite nicely, because if I'm not mistaken, it also slows if it's level three. Yeah, also slows, which might allow me to kite even better. I'm just one of. I'm just gonna build. Very annoying. That's what I'm gonna do. Just oh, he gets close to me. Thumper, turret. Oh, he gets close to me. Now you're slow as well. Oh, you can't move now. You're dead meat. But yeah, you have to beat the meat to make it tender, right? Thumper, thumper joke. I'm 12. This is fun. No, okay. Nobody then. All right, let's see what's going on up in here. Nobody is taking the fire giant yet. Should not be too much of an issue. Looks like we have a ward though. Is that a tower? I don't know. Thought I had one of my towers out, but apparently it's just a ward. Right. Looks like we might be forcing something soon, so I don't want to put down my turrets or anything. We are looking for a fight with Neath and Loki right here. Hey, it is a turret. Oh, it didn't show up. It was great for me. Oh well. There you go. Let's see what we can do here. I picked up the man above. Right, let's put a thumper down here. Just to slow down their minions. Poseidon getting hit though. He's probably not going to get away because Fenrir used his ultimate. There's the bite. He died. I'm going to wait for my team to move up here. Assuming we might be looking at something. Right, there's the invis. There's the thumper to slow down Fenrir. And Fenrir goes down. Didn't even need to slow. But it's always better to get an assist than not getting an assist. Because getting an assist on a kill is always more money if you think about it. Alright, Loki is there as well. Oh, didn't see that. I'm so sorry, lady. Can I slow him just a little bit? Perhaps putting in a cannon right there. Doing as much damage as I can. Fenrir meets up with Loki. There we go. <laughs> Fenrir takes the kill. Wonderful. Our carries are carrying for days. Just gonna wait for my cooldowns to come off. And of course the meat. Let's put on the thumper, because if we have to retreat, we can. Fenrir going high if let's put on a cannon. Oh, Fenrir getting locked in though. But is able to get out. Let's put in two potions. Just to stay up to date. As Loki there is looking for something. 
but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. As the magical damage seems to be coming a little bit too aggressive for me. Can pick up the level 3 armor, which I'm definitely going to be planning to do. Alright, are they looking to jump on me? Doesn't look like it. Loki is still way overextended. I'm going to go back, pick up the physical protection and health as well as the slow on a hit. Now I want to pick up another physical protection and go for either Mystical Mark or Hide of Nemylon. Probably both though, because let's be honest, go big or go home. Mystical Mark would draw a lot of stuff to me and has a lot of health, which I definitely need. Hide of the Mayan Lion, also very nice though. But I think Mystical Mark is going to be probably just a bit better. Because then I can just justify going in there. And still do a lot of AoE damage if they don't focus on me. And if they do focus on me. Well, they make me stronger. Because of uh, the Wall of Absolution. As well as the Midgardian Mill. So there you go. Right, looks like they're going to go for the mid tower. Let's see if we can collapse on them. Looks like they're gone. Did hear a Loki, but I believe that's our Loki. That's okay. Nothing too big of a problem. Not sure where everybody is, though. They might be going for Fire Giant. Looks like... Are they going for Fire Giant? Not entirely sure, though. Not gonna pick up Giant. That would be a throw of the ages. Right, we have a stun there. Let's put a Thumper. Nope. Thumper wasn't placed. He was already dead. Right. They've got four people up right now. For an extended amount of time. Which us gives us a pretty, pretty solid... Whoop, there's the dash. That gives us a pretty solid... Uh, oh, that's a uh, pretty solid lead in numbers, I mean. Alright, let's just... Let's wait for the jump. Don't have my Thumper up, unfortunately. Avoid the Celestial Beam. Alright, let's put that in range. Just so it cleans up minions. Alright, here we go. Now I can pressure multiple lanes at the same time. And hopefully the mid lane as well. As we will try to get down this particular lane. There's three people here. Let's put on a thumper in case that we get jumped on. Because Odin, very deceptive. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Get out of here, Odin. Get out of here. Oh, there's Loki. Going high feet there, though. Let's put in my ultimate. Let's put on a thumper. Come at me, bros. Loki probably gonna die. There's the Loki kill with Poseidon. Poseidon coming in from behind. Say good day. I said good day. Odin has to go all the way around. I don't care much about that solar beam of painful annoyance. As the slow comes in, Odin is pretty much locked in. I'm not gonna even bother too much with it. Let's see. There's the snipe of Smeeth. Try to do a little bit of damage just to get the assist. Odin actually getting away, I think. No, he did manage to get the kill just in time before the tower is there. So I'm going to put down a, a thumper. There is uh, Fenrir bringing me to his tower. Well, that's very nice of you, I suppose. You may jump me, but death will not part us because the only death that will happen is yours. If you do decide to come a little bit too close. But it looks like even though three of them are down, we don't necessarily want to jump them. Fenrir might be looking for an ultimate here. Oh yeah, this is gonna happen. There it is, he's gonna pull them into my towers. Oh, wonderful. Awesome play there from Fenrir. Let's thank him. Awesome, there we go. As we should be allowed to take out this particular tower as only four, uh, well, only one remains, Cupid. And he does try to come in from behind, but we quite frankly do not give a shit. I apologize for my language. Let's put in a girdle of might just for Fenrir. All right, there we go. Looks like we're good though, as Loki is here as well. I'm getting a little bit too low on health. Not sure if I want to stick around a little bit too long here. Because I want to grab more health, more physical protection of course, that mystical mark. Even I'm starting to question it, because mystical mark doesn't seem to be all that effective. As we don't really have a lot of team fights. So, maybe I want to pick up a little bit more magic power? Maybe... Something like that. I'm not sure if like that I can make my tower slow with like Orb of Isolation or something. Vulcan's penetration, uh, inherits Vulcan's penetration, but doesn't apply on hit effect. Okay, never mind. Doesn't do that. There you go. Lesson learned. Right, my slow and my cannon do show some damage, but it's gonna be not enough to me, at least for me, but for Loki it is, as Ra also drops, getting another assist for myself there as well. 
Not stealing the kills. I only have 3 kills, but 19 assists. Assisting for days, which is exactly what I'm supposed to do as a tank. Giving the kills to, of course, the carries. Look at Fenrir. Fenrir is going high if you look at his build. You don't want to mess with that whatsoever. As we might be looking at... A Minotaur here? Do we want to do that? No, we want to pick up another Phoenix. I think that's indeed a better plan. Here we go. Let's just tank this for days. Let's put down a, uh, a Thumper. Just to get that AoE damage going. Help down our minions. Got Girdle of Might and Fenrir. Just to have everything that we can have to burn this Phoenix down as fast as we can. Everybody's here now. Alright, let's put down a turret. There we go, Thumper as well. And there's the ultimate. Making that Thumper additionally strong. As I might be looking at a lot of damage. Let's use my Aegis to build myself up some damage reduction. Let's back out of here. As I might die here. See if I can get away. There's a lot of minions here. Let's put down a Thumper. Because if I do get chased. Which Loki seems to be doing. I might be able to get away. Oh, he's so close to me right now. He's gonna go for it. But they have surrendered. I get, a, I get out, I don't die. Got 2.6k gold in the bank. First game Vulcan, ladies and gentlemen. First game Vulcan. And I, did, I didn't I did do too bad. I did die twice, though. So, yeah. First win of the day as well. Not too shabby, not too shabby for a conquest match. Player kill three. Yeah, kind of makes sense if you have three kills. No double kills, though. Got some more shippers up in there. So, looking at my build. All right. People raging as usual, but let's ignore that. So looking at our build. Wow, that was demonic grip. Building demonic grip on Neath, which would only work really for Poseidon. Not really the most potential best build. But then again, he might have thought he was going to be useless anyway because he died so much. But then if you look at Poseidon, yeah. Uh, probably could have gone better with a rage or a death bring if you really want to do some damage. That's usually the items that I end up building. Um, so yeah. Let's look at my build. Go Wind Tanky. Wall of Absolution. No mid guardian mill. Did really worked out in saving my butt against that Cupid when Loki saved my uh, precious behind. And yeah, I like Vulcan. Vulcan is like Heimerdinger in League of Legends. It's extremely annoying. More annoying, so I think. Because as you saw, it doesn't take that much effort just to zone out. I think that Vulcan is probably one of the champions that can just take a complete lane by himself. Against two other champions. Of course, depending on the champions that you're fighting against, it might just be a little bit harder than no normal. But those turrets, man. Those turrets. Also, the three against one fight. Wonderful. Was wonderful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.